You are listening to Be Nice to Yourself podcast with Natalia Schneidmiller, episode 18. Welcome to Be Nice to Yourself podcast that will give you practical tools to finally be nice to yourself so you can stop yelling at your kids and enjoy being a mom. Using coaching and lots of love, I'm your Russian Canadian host, certified life coach and mom of four, Natalia Schneidmiller. Hey guys, how are you doing today? I want to talk to you a little bit about if you're anything like me and you like kind of being a little victim-y and you notice yourself and kind of just being a little you know acting like a kid sometimes and being upset about things that are just you know not reasonable and keep you stuck in kind of victimhood and being resentful I have a little exercise for you okay because I'm like that and sometimes I get like that and here's what I just did with myself because I was feeling low this morning and I kind of felt stuck and I did not want to feel low and I sat down and I did something I didn't want to do but I thought okay let's just try it so I made a list of 25 things I want in my life but I did uh, I, I did this in the list where I listed all the things that I want that I already have and I, I kind of listed all the things that I have and also don't have that I want. So kind of the best way is to alternate. So you can list one thing that you want that you don't have yet. And the next one you can list as if you, you want it and you already have it. So what actually ended up happening for me today is that I listed 25 things that I want and only four out of those 25 things is what I don't have currently. Four out of 25. And I want to offer to you, the if, if you do this and you really look at your life, like for example, I listed like, you know, being married, having a husband, having children, having a beautiful house, you know, having a f- healthy body, fit body, having a career that I love, um, having great parents, great in-laws, um, things like that that I listed that I o- I want to be married. And guess what? I'm already married. I want to have a husband. I have a husband. I want to have kids. And I wanted to have four kids at one point, and now I have four kids. <laughs> and I wouldn't return any of them, even though they drive me crazy th- sometimes. But really looking at this list afterwards I'm like this is crazy I was feeling so low and I already have most of the things I want in my life just gave me some perspective on really the facts of my life you know the hard cold facts of my reality and uh, you know that kind of gave me some perspective to take me out of my misery so This is what you can do for yourself anytime and that will give you perspective on your own life from a uh, place uh, of just observing what you have and it will give you um, a feeling of abundance, right? After After you write down all the things that you want that you already have and most of those things that we want like having some a good friend or having children or having people that we care about are the most important things, right? Versus like, I have like cute dresses on my list, right? So some things that we want that we already have are the most important things in our life. And the things that we don't yet have are maybe not as important on your list as, you know, having people that you love, having a family, and having friends, right? So um, that is a thing that I want to offer you to you today. Write a list of 25 things of things that you want in your life and fill it with things that you already have. And then sit down. And then after I made that list, I circled 
or I uh, know I didn't circle first I went through each thing and I made a check mark beside a thing that I already have like husband check kids check beautiful house check and then I circled the ones that I don't have and really that was just beautiful beautiful page with a lot of check marks and a couple of things that I don't want and um, I think that will give you a lot of perspective on your own life and kind of take you out of your life so you can look at it and decide again how you do you want to feel about it all right hope this really helps you it helps me and i will talk to you soon bye